somewhere in the bowels of the city that never sleeps. Kevin McCullough, radio host with Salem Media. Is a man also not sleeping. Syndicated radio talk show host Kevin McCullough. And that guy would like a word with you. Many of you know him from as Votes for Damas. Of course that Kevin show is going to be great. The only thing that could be greater, of course, would be that Donald show. But we don't have that, so we have that Kevin show. Featuring the music of Dick Tunney and the Dream in Color Orchestra. Still to come. The president writes a song that makes the whole world cry. There is a secret war that you're unaware of being waged against you. Also the origin of the cheeseburger burrito. And before we're done, Ann Wilson in the spotlight. And now, from Times Square, where those involved in tagging brownstones will pause mid-spray, just to mock the way you say, Bodega, here's the... Let me just say I'm not going to spend too much time on Donald Trump's uh, cognitive disorders. He tried to say that Nikki Haley did not allow the National Guard to come, but it was Nancy Pelosi. It was me, nobody. It was Joe. It was Donald Trump. Uh, who was that, uh, former Madam Speaker? Okay, it's news time. Here we go. For Assignment Desk Weekend, I'm Kevin McCullough. Here's the news. This week, the issue of border security rose to the top of the news cycle. Well, that and AI pictures of Taylor Swift, but I digress. Uh, they started out this week as the number one issue in New Hampshire because border and immigration were the top two issues in those voting in the Tuesday primary in the Granite State. But it also heated up later in the week because Katie Couric got an exclusive interview with the least popular person in the administration. 68% of Americans disapprove of the way the Biden administration has handled the border. So how do you address that? Sure. Have you done enough? Our, there's no question. Our immigration system is broken and it needs to be fixed. And as with any problem, then leaders will participate, true leaders, in the solution. Leaders participating in the solution is largely what American citizens, elected office holders, and even legal immigrants have been asking for for the past three years. Having exhausted all other options, Texas began enforcing its own border to which the president then took the state to court to try to stop. So why? Isn't the president trying to stop illegal? Okay. But anyway, so much for uh, leaders being allowed to participate in the solution. Leaders will participate, true leaders, in the solution. In response, the governor of Texas sent this letter to the president explaining his reasons why Texas will not comply. To which the president replied, Don't mess with the men in America unless you want to get the benefit. You're doing this, Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. I wonder why. He also scribbled the words, Weehawken, Dawn, in his reply back to the Texas governor. According to sources, Assignment Desk Weekend has learned that now 25 other states have lent verbal support, and some, as recently as just last night, like Alabama, have sent actual troops to Texas to support the operation to secure the border. The president didn't seem to like this much either. <laughs> oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. I wonder why. Don't mess with the men in America unless you want to get the benefit. But in the end, he has decided against further action for now. In our Humans Being Thoughtful story tonight, one Girl Scout mom is scolding customers for mentioning weight problems or diets around her daughters when buying her daughter's Girl Scout cookies. 
Her concern is body image or something. There is no mention, however, in the same reports as to whether or not some customers may discuss the desire to cram an entire box of the delicious delicacies into their pie hole in one single sitting. More on this story as it continues to develop. And finally, the White House is urging Congress tonight to act on behalf of Taylor Swift. Because you know she's so picked on. Anyway, they're encouraging this action as unauthorized AI pics of the singer are flooding the interwebs. Originally just thought to be a kind gesture, Assignment Desk Weekend can now reveal that the action by the White House is being urged in order to keep the universe of Swifties from storming the presidential residence and singing Swift's entire library of songs late into the night, early into the morning, until they have helped their mastermind. For Assignment Desk Weekend, I'm Kevin Kelly. It's your boy. Joe Rogan, I mean Joe, Joe Biden, Joe, Joe Namath, Joe, Bar Barack Obama, Barack Obama's VV, and the, this is my new song, Corn Pop was a bad dude, me and Hunter got matching tattoos, when we got money from Ukraine, gas companies, they paid in cash too, I was the first man to land on the moon, I invented the fork and spoon, the leader of a whole damn platoon. I helped Michael Jackson write his tunes. I was there at George Washington's birth, and when Peter invented the church, I taught Kelly Slater to surf. I'm the greatest president on earth. I was there when Abe Lincoln was shot. Me and Bob Norley smoked pot. Used to be a fireman and cop. I was there when 50 Cent was shot. Kids rubbed the hair on my legs. I'm the one who got out of debt. Robert Byrd was my good friend. Eulogized him when he was dead. Yeah, he was in the KKK. Who cares? Just vote them. You ain't black if you don't vote for me. Yeah, that's actually what I said. I was arrested during civil rights. Never mind, I was with the whites. I used to drive an 18 wheeler. I taught Mike Tyson how to fight. Three letter word, J O B S. No time for your BS. Check my face, I always seem stressed. I need a break, is it recess? Why are stairs so hard to climb? Like Logan Paul and KSI, I'm in my prime. High res, help me write these rhymes. 2 p.m., it's my nap time. You're a dog faced lion pony soldier. Come on, man, let me sniff your kid. Whoops, whoops, I already did. If you don't vote for me, you're so mid. I went to an all black college. Top of my class, I have knowledge. I'm so Polish, I'm mean Polish. I used to work at the Olive Garden. I can relate to the people of Maui. How can I make this thing about me? My garage burnt down. Almost lost my wife my corvette and audi four kids are just as bright as whites come on man uncle joe is right i'm honest abe i never lie me and taylor swift are really tight a leader strategy mobilizing true and international of russia so if you want biden 2026 vote for me this september you're a lying dog faced pony soldier come on man you're a lying dog faced pony soldier Come on, man, you're a lying dog faced pony soldier. Come on, man, you're a lying dog faced pony soldier. Come on, man, come on, man. Come on. Okay, we've got a great store concept. Healthy foods in really tight spaces. We'll call it Trader Joe's. We should put them in already really congested areas. Perfect. And make the parking lots really small. Better yet, let's find a way to put them on a hill. This hill is perfect. Yeah, so when you're loading your groceries, the cart just goes sliding out of control. Amazing. It should feel borderline dangerous to get into or out of a parking space. Let's make sure to have half, half the, the number of spaces needed, needed for the store. store. They're going to be riding the high of finding a spot when they're shopping for cauliflower gnocchi. What else should we sell there? How about this? Let's each think of a random food. Okay. We'll combine those foods and that's what we'll sell. Okay, ready? 
Go. Mango. Oreos. Chocolate. Pumice. Birthday cake. Popcorn. Philly cheesesteak. Dumplings. Tomato. Truffles. Hot cocoa cream cheese. This store could be terrible. Or amazing. So far, we have tight spaces that don't fit a standard car, mm -hmm. preferably on a hill, yes. and really strange food combinations. Can we make everyone who works there, like, suspiciously nice? So nice. Yeah, you'll find yourself talking to them while they're scanning your groceries about that time that your mom left you in the Chuck E. Cheese parking lot on your sixth birthday. That sounds traumatic. Sorry that happened. Oh, it's fine. No, the therapy really helped. Anyway, we'll just make it feel wildly personal. Make the lanes feel really tight. Make the aisles tight. And never stock enough of anything. Have weird seasonal items. That'll sell like hotcakes. Honey sriracha hotcakes. And then never, never stock, stock them, them again. again. This store is going to be great. Every town is going to want one. Everyone. All this talk about food is making me hungry. Want to get some lunch? Sure. What do you want? Okay. Cheeseburger. Burrito. Cheeseburger burrito. Ready or not, we'll be right back.